Zombie Apocalypse. Hello and welcome to I'm Face Rolls Forum Explorum Episode 1, a new series which I'll be sharing with you every Monday. In this series, I hope to dig deep into the forums and bring you some custom PCs like no other. And as always, I'll leave a direct link to the thread in the description below. Let the forum explore and begin. Okay guys, for this episode, I've decided we're going to go on the BitTech forums and we're going to start with the oldies, the more popular ones. I think it's only suiting for the first episode, so let's jump in and we actually might go with a scratch build. We might go with, actually we'll keep that the same and we'll go descending order and we'll go from the beginning. So that's the beginning of the forums and we'll see what's there. Some popular, popular ones hopefully. That's views, descending, what do we want here? Number of views, how about we go number of views, get the popular ones up. Okay guys, so we found one here with 3.39 million views. So we're going to go with this one. I'm gonna go in, have a look at it, see what you guys think. Leave some comments down below, give my thoughts, and yeah, so we'll get into it. This one is called Dark Blade by G69T. Okay guys, so jumping in, we can see that this is a scratch build, and looking down the page, it looks like a lot of these parts are actually going to be made by CNC, lathe, and milling machines. So if we look down here, we can see he's going to make some custom panels. Um, the base is going to be lead, so it's going to be a lead system here. Scroll down. Right, so this is the base of the computer, looks like it. He's made his uh, panels, and looks like he's going to be drilling out holes and tapping them so he can fix components to the actual system. So he's actually gone ahead and he's actually made some custom reservoirs. He CNC machined all of this out. He put some G1 quarter fitting holes through there so the water could actually come in there. And he's made these brackets here so it can hold the acrylic in place and he could screw this down. So what he's probably done is he's milled out a little section and put some rubber sort of grommet in there so that the liquid wouldn't um, leak. As you can see there, these holes have been tapped to fit any normal fitting. He's actually gone ahead and made a bit of an artwork and actually added it into the inside of his reservoirs as you can see there. Um, just some nice patterns there, some smaller holes drilled through there and that'll look nice with the liquid flowing through. Okay guys, so in this update he's actually made part of the bottom section of his build. He's actually made some mounting holes there which he's screwed in some plates and eventually made a mounting bracket for his pumps. So he's mounting two pumps onto there and he'll be working them in series. Now this is a wicked design right here. This is actually, believe it or not, going to be a grill. So what he's done here is he's just grabbed some ordinary sort of metal sheets and he's CNC milled these out and they look like some crazy ninja sort of knife or something like that but these, that is just a wicked design, that is crazy. There's the finished product there and there's all these nuts and bolts to screw them all together. That is one crazy design. And here's some pictures of the final results, guys. Um, he's got his reservoirs, his pumps mounted, and he's got those grills on. They look fantastic. That's all been chrome-plated, by the way, so that is very nice. Very nice finish on that. That looks fantastic. I like the detail he has in those um, the case feet there. They look nice. And those grills, they're insane. They're like some ninja weapons that he turned into a grill. That is, I don't know, that's a piece of art. That is insane. So here what he's done is he's grabbed a piece of acrylic and he's actually dremeled out this pattern here. Um, he's then spray painted it. He's put some decals over the top to actually get this. And now that lights up nicely uh, with some nice green lights that he's added to the system. That's actually looking pretty good. He's actually got all of this all painted as well. So that is looking nice and sharp there. 
So the system is all tubed up now. He's decided to use some soft tubing. He's actually testing it to see if it's all working and running fine. He's got his front panel on as well, which he's um, custom CNC milled out as well. So it's all looking very nice. He's actually added some UV green dye to the liquid. So that's really adding to the effect. Um, he's going for that nice green look, so why not go for that? All right, guys, check this out. He's actually made some more ninja weapons. These things are crazy. He's put it on top of his build there. I'm assuming that they're all gonna go around. There's gonna be another part that sits on top, but whatever it is, that is absolutely insane. So what we're looking at here is actually his motherboard tray. He's milled out all of these slots and he's got the uh, PCI E brackets there and everything like that. Um, and we scroll down here, he's drilled all them holes out, all those brackets, and he's also tapped them so the screws can screw in nice and make for a nice clean build. So the motherboard tray that he made actually screws onto these ninja weapons, and he's made some brackets there, he's put his standoffs in, so I'm assuming that the motherboard's gonna screw into there and they're gonna act as some sort of cable management or something. We'll have to wait and see what happens here, but this thing is looking insane. Okay guys, so this part is pretty insane. What he's done here is he's built up a, a sort of column and he's made like a, a HDD cage, SSD cage, whatever you want to call it. And he's actually mounted that on top. So his motherboard's going to be sitting down there and his hard drives will be sitting up here. And this is all going on top of that liquid cooling half that we saw earlier on. Alright guys, so this is insane. He's actually milled out some more ninja weapons. And if you look closely, they're actually swords on the side. The, the whole frame are pretty much four swords that he's milled out. And it's just holding the whole thing together. That is pretty crazy. That is insane. I'm pretty speechless right now. That liquid cooling system down there looks fantastic. The swords, that... I don't know, that's... That's pretty insane craftsmanship craftsmanship there I mean even the paintwork is spot on it's, it just looks on point it looks like a professional company has actually built this okay so we've actually got the front plate milled out um, assuming he's going to be adding like buttons and stuff like that to it so he's milled that out and he's actually painted it and added it to the front of the system now that is very very clean and though that milling is spot on that's that's some next level stuff he's actually added some LED lights to the front as well uh, to the top half sorry and also if you look through those grills he's actually got a fan in there too so that this project's coming along nicely this is this project is is insane Okay guys, so here's actually that front panel. He's added some temperature sensors to it. And temperatures are actually looking not too bad. Um, and that looks really clean. That's a nice fitting there. It's actually come out really nicely. It, it fits perfect and geez, he's done his measurements well. So he's got his buttons in now and they're looking very nice. A nice green glow to go with the theme of his build. Um, and the sort of blue glow from his temperature sensors also goes with the theme of the build because you've got that little bit of blue on the fan. So it's just nice to have the, the little bit of sort of blue in there just to offset the colors. Okay, guys, so he's actually added a back panel to it. He's CNC milled out another sheet of metal and also added some more LED strips to it. It really looks nice. There's not too much light there. It just highlights the... Uh, the main angles and components of the build so it's looking really sharp really clean and I'm really digging this project okay guys so we have some more metal work for you guys he's actually made some legs to hold everything up so he's done a bit of welding bit of cutting out of some steel um, if we go down lower this is the final result so that whole picture that that whole system there will be holding the computer up um, some nice welding so it looks like spot welding it's gonna be nice and strong it'll be able to hold the weight of a computer so brilliant work there okay guys and here is the final picture 
This is the final complete build. This is it. Look at the look at that build. Look at the detail that's gone into that. That build actually has around 3.4 million views on this forum. So and it deserves it to be honest. This the amount of detail that's gone into that is just insane. That liquid cooling system down below and you've only got the two tubes bringing all of the liquid up to the top section. So, I mean, that that's just crazy, that detail. I love the side of the case there, that bit of acrylic. He's got the um, got the nice etching on the glass there. Um, sorry, on the acrylic and it just, it's insane. That is absolutely crazy. Every screw, every panel, everything about this build he made himself he probably even made the motherboard himself and here's a nighttime photo that just looks fantastic I like how the light sort of spurts off in the different directions and that's all because of the shapes of the panels so guys I hope you enjoyed this new series hopefully we can uh, get this catching on get this going every Monday if you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe I'm gonna remember I'm going to leave this forum link down in the description for you guys if you want to check out the whole project um, just so you guys know this whole project was about 107 pages long so it's a very long project but if you got time to sit there and look through it all it's all worth it I just paid it uh, I just pulled out the main points just to bring to you guys hope you guys enjoyed a big shout out to this guy like this project is amazing, blew me away. The amount of craftsmanship that went into it is insane. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully um, down in the comments below, why don't you guys leave a link to a forum that you would like me to show off because I'm very happy to show off any project for you guys. I just want to bring you custom computers, bring you what you like and just have fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next Monday. Click here to check out our latest custom PCs that we've built from scratch. Do you have a PC you want featured on the channel? Well click here to see what other PCs have been featured. Are you into gameplay? Click here to see our latest gameplay content. Thanks for watching guys, your feedback is always helpful so be sure to leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next one.